Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of using the Revolve feature in Fusion 360. Um, let's say that we wanted to create something like what you see here. This is a rubber sleeve like you might see on a, uh, like perhaps a bike handle, right, that would fit over the end. Okay, how do I make something like this quickly and easily? While there are many different ways I could see cylinder and, and, and an extrusion or something working, the Revolve feature is really the best way to make something that's cylindrical in nature. Um, or at least it's a very convenient way, I should say, to do it. So let me demonstrate how to do that. Um, not necessarily that part, just how the Revolve feature works. So I'm going to draw a sketch on a surface, and I'm just going to draw a quick line. Um, it can, I mean, I'm just making up stuff here, so I'm just going to make that line an inch long, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, this line isn't necessarily going to be part of what I actually create in the end, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to hit X, and that's going to, just going to turn it into a construction line. Now, what I can do, though, is I can create any kind of profile off to the side. So let's say I do a rectangle, and whenever I finish with that rectangle, let's say that I want to revolve by clicking on Create and choosing Revolve, and I want to revolve this profile around this axis. Notice what happens whenever I do that. Let's come and look at a good view of it. Okay, what it does is it takes that rectangle and it sweeps it all the way around that axis. And I can choose different things, like maybe I want to go all the way around. Maybe I only want to go a particular angle. Maybe it's only 180 degrees that I want to go. Or maybe perhaps it's only 90 degrees that I want to go. So this is an easy way, you can see, of taking that, that rectangular shape and sweeping it around an axis. Now, the nice thing about this is once I finish, I can always go back and I can edit the sketch. Right click, edit sketch. I can also do this from down here, right click and edit sketch. And let's look at what happens if I say, let's take this and just drag it in and make it a little bit closer, okay? So notice that the gap between the line that I'm revolving around, the axis, and the profile is now smaller, okay? Smaller gap here. Watch what happens when I update, okay? Still revolving. You can see here though that now it's gotten much closer, in fact, Let's go here and let's right click and let's edit this feature. That would be the revolve feature and let's go all the way around. And you can see that that hole in the middle of this donut shape is now way, way smaller. Okay, so that's an easy thing to kind of, uh, I guess, wrap your mind around. I hope you notice again, if I make this bigger, bigger hole in the middle, right? Okay, so if I can figure out then what the shape is that I want to revolve, then it's going to be really simple for me to add in a few dimensions and get everything to work correctly. Now, you don't have to do just rectangles, so let me come over here and uh, show you what I mean by that. Let's say that instead of a rectangle, I want to do like, um, I don't know, a shape here that's triangular in nature, okay? And I'm obviously not adding dimensions, but I can finish that sketch. It doesn't change anything until I update the Revolve feature. And the profile that I want to select, I'm going to go ahead and choose this so it includes it. Okay, so now it's doing the triangle and the rectangle, and now you can see I have this weird like beveled surface in the middle okay so it's not just rectangles you can do you can do any kind of shape and you can revolve it around an axis so now let's go back to this then how do i do this rubber sleeve then okay the rubber sleeve the best way to do that is just to come over here and let me show the sketch to you and i'm actually going to take the body and hide it away okay you need to create something then that looks like this Okay, notice everything's black, but if I take this and I revolve this shape and I add in the proper dimensions, then I should be able to create that revolved feature and then I just fill it at a couple of edges to make it round. The one thing that I do want to note is this. Let's go back to our sketch. And let's edit this sketch. Okay, when I come over here and I edit the sketch, if I want to dimension the distance between this line and say the point, Notice it gives me a radius, okay? So a point into the center would be a radius. If I ever want to go all the way across, I just right-click instead, and I say I want to do a diameter dimension instead, and it says now it knows that that's going to be a circular opening in the middle. I could say the diameter of that hole maybe is a quarter inch, okay? And notice it goes down to this imaginary point down here, but again, it's a diameter instead of a radius. So that's something also you're going to have to keep in mind whenever you get, do the rubber sleeve because, as you'll notice, I'll pull this picture over here, they give us a diameter here, don't they? And they give us a diameter over here. In fact, it's an outer diameter. OD is outside diameter. This is the diameter of the opening down here for the rubber sleeve. So using that right click and dimensioning the diameter instead is an easy way to do it so you don't have to do any math, figure out what the radius is instead. Hopefully this video makes sense and you're able to go through and create the rubber sleeve on your own.